Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay, a freedom fighter who set up the National School of Drama and the first woman ever to run for a legislative seat in India. In this video, let us look at the life of Kamla Devi Chattopadhyay. Kamla Devi was born in Mangaluru, Karnataka on April 3, 1903. From an early age, her parents introduced her to many freedom fighters like Gopal Krishna Gokhale and Annie Besant. Her father passed away when she was only seven years old and everything from his estate went to his stepsons, who left them with a monthly allowance. Kamla Devi's mother, Giracha Bai, refused the allowance and decided to raise her daughters on her dowry property. At the age of 14, she got married but her husband passed away two years later. Later, at age of 20, Kamla Devi remarried Harindranath Chattopadhyay, Sarojini Naidu's brother. They had a son together, Rama, but they divorced amicably after many years of marriage. While studying in London in 1923, she became aware of Mahatma Gandhi's non-cooperation movement and returned to India to join Seva Dal. She also convinced him to let women participate in the Dandi March. She met suffragette Margaret E. Cousins, the founder of the All India Women's Conference in 1926 and was inspired to run for the Madras Provincial Legislative Assembly. And later, she became the first woman in India to run for a legislative seat. Though she could campaign for only a few days, she lost by a slim margin of just 55 votes. Kamla Devi was a leading figure in the international socialist feminist movement advocating for Indian women and global issues. In 1929, she attended the International Alliance of Women in Berlin. She gained widespread media attention on January 26, 1930, when during a scuffle, she clung to the Indian tricolour to protect it. Later, she appeared in a few films at a time when acting was considered inappropriate for women from respectable families. She appeared in two silent films, including the first silent film of the Kannada film industry, Mrich Katika Vasant Sena in 1931 and in the 1943 Hindi film Tanse. She also became India's representative during the Second World War, where she embarked on a world tour to represent India's situation to other nations and drum up support for independence after the war. She worked for refugee rehabilitation after the partition and is responsible for the great revival of the Indian handicrafts and handloom in the post-independence era. And that is her legacy to modern India. In 1959, she was instrumental in starting the National School of Drama and was head the Sangeet Natak Academy. She founded the Natya Institute of Kathak and Choreography in Bangalore in 1964. She also founded and served as the first chairman of the All India Handicrafts Board. The Government of India awarded her the Padma Bhushan in 1955 and the Padma Vibhushan in 1987 in recognition of her talent and contribution. She passed away a year later in 1988. Kamla Devi was a true freedom fighter feminist, politician, arts enthusiast and a social activist who was far ahead of her time and serves as an inspiration to everyone.